So what I would like to talk about is solving these types of problems where we have some circle and then we have, you know, some polygon inscribed in it and we want to find these these angles that are in here. So a couple of relationships uh, I want to talk about first and just think about if we have a circle. The uh, the measure of the arc all the way around is 360 degrees. It's, it's 360 degrees. And um, the other thing we could think about is you know some pieces of that if i if i only go halfway across that's 180 degrees or if i only go a quarter of the way across that's 90 degrees and remember the central angle is the same as that measure of the arc that's out there and interestingly i think uh, i'm going to keep that 90 degrees one is if i have what's called an inscribed angle so that's not an angle like this, this is a central angle where these are the same. That's 90 degrees and that's 90 degrees. But if I have an inscribed angle where um, it's like this, the angle goes all the way from the, from the edge of the circle to the edge of the circle. This is half of that. So this is only 45 degrees, whereas this measure of this arc out here is 90 degrees. And that's true of any angle that would be there. If we, if we had another angle that has opens up to that same arc of 90 degrees, it's also 45 degrees. Um, so that's a really important relationship to keep in mind on these. And that's that if I have an angle out here, I'll just call it A. Um, the, this inscribed angle is half of it. So again, that's a really good relationship to hold on to. Um, and that, that gives us another really kind of what I think is a really good relationship. And that's if I have um, just a line that goes through the center, you know, like the, um, the diameter like that. I know that this is 180 degrees. So that means that if I have some inscribed angle to that, this must be 90 degrees. Because notice that inscribed angle this rotation of 90 degrees is half of the measure of that, which is 180. And that's true, again, of, of, of anything that's that's out there. So like if I had this point here and I did there to there, if I know that this is the diameter, um, that would also be 90 degrees. All right, so there's a couple things to cling to while we're working on um, these circle type problems. So I have a problem that I want to, whoops, I'm gonna change the color. I have a problem, two problems that I want to do, two examples, and I'll just have one that goes like this. And this one does go through the center like that. And I'll say this is X degrees, uh, this is 35 degrees, and this is Y degrees. And now I want to I want to figure out what X and Y would be equal to. So there's a couple pieces here. One of them is I know that that this length right here is this diameter. So that means that this measure out here must be 180 degrees. So if that's 180, this X must be 90. So I know that that's 90. So that's good, that was kind of a little gimme. And the other piece is, uh, I could go about this two ways, but I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go about it the simple way and then the more complicated way. I have a triangle here that I see, and I know that the angles in a triangle must add up to 180. So I know that 90 plus 35 plus whatever this Y is here must be 180. So uh, 90 and 35, if I add those together, that's 125. So 125 plus what would get me up to 180? And you might know it, or you might grab your calculator and go 180 minus 125, something like that, but whatever, it's 55. So this would be 55 degrees. So that's one way to do it is to see that triangle. Another way to do it is uh, I know that this part here, this part out here is 180. Notice if this is 35, this inscribed angle that's right here, if this is 35, this arc that's out here must be twice it. So if I double that 35, uh, 35 times two, that means this must be 70 degrees. Great, so that helps me think then I have one more spot here. Look at this arc here and how, trace it back. There's my inscribed angle for that arc. So whatever this arc is, that angle must be half of it. Well, if this is 180 and this is 70, all the way around is 360. So 
sorry, I'm going to switch out my pens here. Um, if I go 360 minus the 180 and minus the 70, that'll tell me how big this right here is. And I know I've already, I've already solved this one, but I'm just showing you another way to think about it. So this would be 110 degrees, the, the measure of this arc. And again, to that inscribed angle, half of that is 55. So there was two ways to get at that one. Now I showed you that to show you this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have another one over here. Just something like that. And now notice the, nothing here go, like goes through the center. So I don't have a guaranteed uh, 90 degree angle anywhere. 65. Let's make this 85. Let's make this X. And let's make this Y. So same sort of idea. I want to solve these. Um, so let me think about this 65 right here. And I'll switch up this pens again. This 65. Notice that's the inscribed angle. That angle right there is the inscribed angle for this arc length. So if this is 65, this arc measure, not length, but measure out here must be twice 65. So if I go 65 times 2, it gives me 130. So this out here must be 130 degrees. All right, that's that's something. I'm just kind of gathering up the pieces that I that I know. And actually, that helps me get at what Y must be. Because, so look at this. This is, I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, this angle that, that's Y right here. Notice it's this angle. That's inscribed with that arc right there. So if this is 130, the full circle must be 360. So the measure of this arc must be 360 minus 130, which is 230. Insert your Dennis joke there. That's 230 degrees. And this angle, this inscribed angle, must be half the measure of that arc. So half of 230, you can go 230 divided by 2, or you just know it is 115. So Y must be 115. Cool. So we've got those. Hey, notice that like this 230 and this 130 must add to 360. So this 115 and this 65, since they're, they're half of those, must add to 180. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit. All right, and let's do this X then. Same sort of thinking for the X. I noticed that this angle, whoops, uh, this angle that's right here is 85 degrees. And if I look at its arc out here, that must be twice 85 degrees. 85 times two is 170. So this arc is 170. So that means that this arc that's out here would be, um, 360 minus 170. hundred and ninety degrees. And if that arc is 190 degrees, notice that this is the inscribed angle to that arc. So that would be half of 190. So if I cut that 190 in half, 95. So Y is uh, 115 and X is 95. Now in some of the problems, instead of just an x, it might be an x plus 1 or something like that. Just set up the equation and solve the equation for x.